I'm really grateful to Ms. Minu Jindal and of course Swayam and her entire team of people who have been working very closely with several of our staff members led by our registrar, Professor Sridhar Patnaik and uh, Lavish for making this campus even more uh, differently enabled. Uh, they have helped us in the process of developing a comprehensive audit report which uh, I am happy to report that we have made a commitment towards implementing all aspects of the report. So I want to thank all those individuals of Swayam who led the effort to work with our own team and to look at the entire campus uh, in terms of its physical infrastructure, but also other forms of uh, infrastructure, both in terms of human resources and other things that we do on campus to ensure that we are a far more inclusive community than we are uh, today. An indefatigable champion of accessibility for all, Ms. Jindal was the first to train the spotlight on the need for accessibility in the built environment. Personal challenges made her aware of the hurdles for those facing reduced mobility issues such as the elderly, pregnant women, children and those with temporary or permanent disability. It was this zeal that resulted in Swayam in the year 2000, a non-profit that is India's first accessibility organization. Swayam's efforts have not only made world heritage sites such as the Qutub Minar and Fatehpur Sikri group of monuments truly accessible to all, but also made great impact on rural sanitation, para sports, healthcare, built infrastructure, public transport, and much more. Ms. Jindal and her initiative Swayam have won numerous awards in India and abroad and are featured in many renowned publications. Always, uh, she is somebody who leads from the front. Uh, she wants to make things happen and she really wants to seize the impact on the ground. We are very fortunate that not only we have with us an outstanding uh, business leader, an entrepreneur and a transformative individual, but an inspiring force of nature somebody who has been able to galvanize social and intellectual consciousness among a large number of people in India and abroad to address an issue that has been mostly neglected and unfortunately not given enough attention to.